New tonight, women with their children targeted at a South Bay gas station. That's the warning tonight on social media. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live in East Lake, where some moms say they're getting harassed. Rachel? Kimberly and Steve, it was about this time last night here when this happened. It's not uncommon to see panhandlers in parking lots, but the two men who approached a woman at this gas station and some women in front of this target are aggressive and frightening. So what's the first thing that we do when a bully comes into my personal space? Good. Elias right, Gallegos sit. teaches children self-defense. Do I put my hands up like this? But it's what he saw at this East Lake gas station that had him stepping in to help a woman alone with her child. What really got my attention was the facial expression that she made. Like she was like uh, visibly shaken. Gallegos had just pulled into the Shell station on East Lake Parkway just after nine Wednesday night. As soon as we pulled in, I noticed them right away. It's like they were staking the place out. One of the men said something to the woman. Looking frightened, she quickly went inside the gas station. And I said, excuse me, ma'am, I, you know, I don't want to bother you, but are, are those men bothering you? And she kind of had like this, like, yes. Do you want to give them money? And she said, no. And I go, OK, you're not going to give them money. Gallegos told the guys he was calling the cops, and they left. He posted this warning on an East Lake Facebook page. People started just coming like out of the woodwork. Several other women reported getting harassed at the gas station, the nearby Target and Walmart. They're predators and they're looking to come up on somebody who's meek, who maybe has low self-esteem or who's not aware of her surroundings. A Chula Vista police officer has been patrolling this lot uh, since we have been here this evening. He says he been, has been trying to track down these guys for weeks. He says they are likely addicts looking for drug money. Reporting live in Eastlake, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.